Welcome to Lex's world, everybody. Let's chat about bud rot, mildew, and mold on cannabis. What they look like, how to avoid them, and what to do if you've got a mold type problem. So bud rot is a type of mold that strikes bud specifically and looks like an advancing discoloration of brown, black, or gray that eventually starts to literally rot a bud starting from the point of development. It's difficult to spot early. Usually you'll see a couple of leaf tips dying nearby on an otherwise healthy plant and then pull back the bud in that area and look inside the center to discover it. In advanced stages, bud rot is very easy to spot, like here and here. Mildew can start anywhere, even on stems and fan leaves, and it starts to spread, causing more advanced mold where it travels and killing the plant. Fortunately, that pattern of travel makes it easy to see. You can also remove mildew before it often does damage to buds themselves. As for general mold, it's white and fluffy like you would expect mold to be, and its only challenge is it strikes in patches all over at once, so you may not notice it at first and by the time you do, it's already hit a large area. A major note for this episode is that mold rarely strikes young plants, and if it does, that young plant is probably screwed. The scariest time for mold is in the last few weeks of flowering and during your drying and curing phase. It happens for a few common reasons. The main culprit is lack of airflow in the grow room or the curing area, whether the lack of airflow is above or below the plants. If the lack of airflow is above the plants, you're going to have to increase your exhaust power. If it's below the plants, you can cut away a little bit of lower foliage and aim your oscillating fan below your plants to make the conditions down there change. If you at least have an oscillating fan to begin with, by the way, you are already probably not going to get mold, at least during the actual grow. The next culprit is constant high temperatures above 30 Celsius or very low temperatures below 18 Celsius. The third culprit is excessive humidity, especially combined with the high heat. If you have all three problems, mold is practically guaranteed. Now I do have an episode on air temperatures and humidity, which I'll link to in the description. So if you've forgotten your fundamentals and that stuff, please rewatch it. But most mold situations actually strike right at curing, after your plants are cut down, either due to people rushing through the process or not using airflow during it. So make sure you have proper airflow in your drying and curing area, and don't jar your buds while they're still moist to the touch. Finally, do not mix recently harvested buds with any old buds that you have in storage, because the old buds will actually be the ones that catch mold first if you do that, due to the new buds rapidly uh, rehydrating them. And as I've mentioned, spotting mold early is tricky. Under a microscope, you will notice a spiderweb-like stringiness around your trichomes, as you see here. Then a bit later, you might notice that an area of mold has curled leaves and problems when the remainder of the plant is just fine. Uh, when you investigate the area, you'll discover a patch of white or gray or black. Uh, as you can see, the powdery whiteness of the mold is quite easily discernible from the typical whiteness of trichomes, so if you're not sure, it might not be mold you're looking at. Once mold or bud rot or even mildew reach an advanced phase, they're very easy to spot, though by this point, spores from the mold have likely infected a larger surrounding area that's gonna have to be dealt with too. What can you do about mold? Well, not a lot. It's a pretty big tragedy. Usually if you spot it, you must cut away all areas affected by it. If it's affected a bud, you may have to cut off the whole bud, not just the affected area. If it's affected a fan leaf like this, get rid of the leaf and its stem. There's really no way to fully salvage plants that have mold. It's impressively destructive. If you've let it get to advanced phases, you could lose 
half or more of your crop just cutting away all the moldy areas and the areas really close that already have spores spores by the way is how this stuff spreads so even if you cut away a bad section just for the rest of your grow make sure you don't let your guard down and keep your eyes peeled and that's it guys that's all you gotta know about mold and i promise that my detailed guide episode on curing and drying is coming eventually i just don't know when uh, on that note please subscribe hit that like button and we'll see you next time